This is a beautiful Gen Air slide in range. We've got the uh, four burners up on top of the power burner. This is actually a really good range. I'm a big, big, big fan. Um, right now, this one, we have a lot of the uh, buttons are working. We're getting the, uh, the bake button works. You can hear the beeping noise. Um, a, lot of these, a lot of these functions are working, but we swing over here to the keypad. You hear no beeping at all. See, so one, two, three, four, five, six, nothing's working. Okay, seven beeps, eight beeps, nine beeps. Zero doesn't, back does. You see how we have one through six and zero, are, there's no contact being made. Usually, that happens from this, this here, this electronic keypad has two films. There's an outer film, which is what you see, and then an inner film that actually makes con electrical continuity. These two are actually separating from each other. Most of the time, that's from heat migrating upwards from the oven into here. So, instead of calling Whirlpool, and definitely call them, because this has a five-year warranty on this part. It actually comes with the full, uh, the full uh, stainless steel and everything. It's a, it's a very expensive part, and they usually have five years on it with Gen Air. So, definitely call them to see if they'll authorize it. But, before you do, you might want to check a few things. You want to figure out why the heat is migrating upwards. One of the reasons could be, notice this here. Notice how the door gasket, it's really hard specifically here. It looks like something was spelt between this area. Uh, if you look around, it's, it's very flat. It's flattened in a lot of areas. I mean, right here, it's really flat. You want this to not be flat like that. You want it to be poofy. So that way, it actually insulates the heat. Squeezing it could help, but I do recommend replacing it. Also, what we want to look at, notice here this hinge is actually underneath. See this bulge starts from right here, works its way over down to here. If we slide this back, you can see that the hinge, it just fits right inside of the door itself. This door, both hinges look like that. This door is actually bent. So as we go to close the door again, it's actually lost its 90 degree angle because of the bulge, the bend right here. From this point to the end of the door is actually no longer flat. The hinge might be at its 90 degree angle, but again, from this point on, this portion is no longer at that 90 degree angle. It's actually gone farther than the 90 degree angle. Even slightly will allow the heat to migrate up and separate these two panels. So before you go ahead and get this thing replaced or see if Whirlpool will, make sure you replace those two things as well. Otherwise, you'll have the problem again. And there's your generator range.